like to be here to present the second major gift this evening to a nonprofit for a project that will significantly enhance and improve the quality of life in our community for youth and adults alike. Baseball has been a, a part of the fabric of West Bend for decades, at least since the 1930s and probably before that. I think most people here this evening can recall a father, a husband, a brother, or a child playing baseball at some level and probably having watched them play at Regner Park on Carquist Memorial Field. Well, for all the baseball fans in the audience, I have a stunning announcement. The boys of summer are gone, at least for Wisconsin High School Athletics. The WIA, Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletics Association, recently decided to move the season, the baseball season, from summer to spring. And many of us are still wondering in what alternate universe did they determine it was possible to play baseball in Wisconsin in the spring with the opening game on March 9th. <laughs> the net effect was to shine a very, very bright light on the baseball facilities available, and the picture was not pretty, especially where the Carl Coase Field and Complex was concerned. The condition of the field certainly would not support spring workouts and play. And in addition, the grandstand, which was moved there from the Washington County Fair Park Fairgrounds in 1937, and probably goes back as far as the 1920s, is in questionable shape. It occurred to me when they start calling you an icon because you're old, you're ancient. <laughs> Just remember that. <laughs> so when we looked at the facilities available, and realize that the future of baseball, a very rich future of baseball at all levels, youth and adult, was in jeopardy. That's when the West Bend High School athletic directors and the West Bend Baseball Association, Association went into full gear. They applied for and qualified for a grant from the Carl S. Ripken Senior Foundation which builds and revitalizes baseball complexes over the United States. They bring with them significant expertise, vendor contacts, and deep discounts, and they also contribute in the form of matching funds. And that's where the story tonight really begins. The organization itself must have demonstrated a community commitment and have a significant amount of money already raised and banked for the project. And that's when the trust, after several meetings and learning about the project, gave this phenomenal gift to the West Bend Baseball Association to ensure that the tradition of baseball in West Bend would continue for generations to come. The total project cost is roughly $2.4 million. It will include an artificial multi-turf field. It has a movable mound. The field will support soccer, lacrosse, men's and women's baseball, and I suppose any kind of sport that plays on a similar size field. There will be a seven row, 750 seat grandstand with backrests and a real press box. The lights will be moved outside the fence. What a concept. <laughs> <laughs> and, and meet current uh, codes and requirements. New dugouts will be built 
and a new concession stand and restrooms will be built. The artificial turf will not only support spring baseball, but intense play that may allow West Bend to reattract statewide tournaments. The first, w, the first 24 games of the WIAA summer baseball tournaments were actually held here in West Bend. And it would be tremendous to be able to get in that loop again and bring those games here, which is good for the community at large. There are two additional things about this project that I'd like to mention that I think are significant. It is in Regner Park. The baseball complex has always been one of the jewels in the crown of Regner Park. And now it will shine even brighter and help to anchor the northern end of the river restoration project. It is also a tremendous collaboration, which the trust likes to promote and, and really believes in. And it is a co collaboration between both the public and the private sector. Both the city and the West Bend Joint School District are committing funding to this project. It could well be a template for future community projects of a similar nature. So I, I am just so proud and delighted for the West Bend Baseball Association that the trust has felt that this project is worthy and important to the future and the quality of life in West Bend. This time I'd like to ask the representatives of the West Bend Baseball Association who are here tonight to come forward to accept the check. First of all, I want to thank the Foundation and West Bend Mutual for the gracious gift. I spent a lot of days <clears throat> in the summer listening to Bob Euchre and uh, Bill Schroeder, which are very good friends of mine, and I always say when they get a double, that's the silver lining, and believe it or not, this is the silver lining. I want to thank you. Uh, on the board, I got my little elf, John Rozak. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Larson, Craig, is a uh, do-it-all. He's the guy that we usually talk to and get things done. And the guy that keeps everybody real happy, Chris <laughs> Kowski. <laughs> so <laughs> if you need anything, just contact him. <laughs> and Prudence. <laughs> Craig. I want to, uh, before I congratulate everybody else here tonight that's receiving gifts, the, the work that this community does in the, you know, to give back to whatever interests are in the city of West Bend or in the surrounding areas is truly remarkable and it takes special individuals to do that. Um, we all have our things that we're, we love and we're passionate about, but it's great when we all can come together for community and so I tip my hat to you guys, my baseball hat as the baseball guy. Uh, thank you to West Bend Mutual, the West Bend Mutual, uh, the Foundation Board for putting your faith in a bunch of baseball guys. Um, we're not necessarily, you know, the most polished guys because, you know, we like to get dirty. We are like coming home after a game and having to throw our stuff in the washer right away or, you know, we're, we're not polished, but we thank you for putting your faith into us. Uh, thank you to the City of West Bend, especially the Mayor, uh, Craig Sedonico and Jay Shambo and the Parks Department for putting your faith into us as well 
Um, this project started seven years ago. Um, the need wasn't as big then, it was more of my dream at the time. But as we have evolved over seven years, um, the mayor of West Bend, uh, numerous times that I've been able to just, you know, ask him about the park and he's always been there with a helping hand. Um, to Prudy, um, for again, for putting her faith into us. Uh, anytime I need something, all I gotta do is pick up the phone and Prudy's there. Um, as Prudy said, the partnership between the school district, the city, the private sector, the baseball association is something I hope that we can all learn from and model from as the future as um, we all have things that we need, we can all work together in order to achieve that. Um, this, as Prudy also said, this grandstand's over 80 years old. Uh, it was built in 1899 and brought over in the, in the 20s and 30s in pieces by her family. So it's important for us to keep the history of baseball at Carl Kuss. Um, the history of baseball in West Bend is strong, starting with the president of our organization, Willie, who played for the Milwaukee Brewers, um, one of two recent major leaguers um, in the last 35, 40 years here in the town. We have a rich tradition of baseball at the high school level, including the only state champion that was undefeated at West Bend West two years ago. And we have a strong tradition of men's amateur baseball, including West Bend 7-Up, who's been around in some form with different names since the 1930s. They won the most recently the Lakes Grand Championship as the best amateur team in the state of Wisconsin. We've also held tournaments, including the Midwest's largest tournament, the Wisconsin Amateur Baseball Classic, which is held here in town. It used to be in July. We moved it to June this coming year and attracts over 30 teams from all over the Midwest to come here into town. All because of the rich tradition of history in West Bend and the amenities we offer, from entertainment to restaurants to, the, the, to MOA to all everything that we have to offer, uh, it's become one of the marquee tournaments in the country. And also, lastly, to the Cal Ripken Foundation, putting their faith into us. Um, we're gonna be able to give back in many ways that we've been able to do now. We're gonna be able to give back to communities um, outside of West Bend in forms of camps by partnering with them to do work with Children's Hospital, the MAC Fund, and other things to do camps, bring kids into West Bend and show them the true love of what this community is all about. So thank you all for um, your time and thank you for putting your faith in us.